Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create opening frame in Tecla structures, just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. Now we're going to create views. So click on create, right click on mouse, create views along with lines. Click on create and OK and click on OK. Okay, now we're going to create columns. So click on C and select this column. And for example, click on here to create column and click on here to create one more column like this. Right click on mouse interrupt. Now go to the elevation along grid 2. So click on window and select this view list. Select this elevation on grid 2. Click on here and close it. Okay, now we're going to create opening frame at this location between these two columns. So go to application components by using the shortcut control F or you can click on here in search bar type opening frame you need to type opening frame then you will get this component opening frame select this component and zoom it and select this column and you need to select this second column and then pick the position at this location and pick the second position at here to create opening like this and close this window Right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse, read a view. Now go to click on window and select this 3D view. Click on space, right click on mouse, read a view. You can see by default you will get this opening frame like this. With a angle profiles. Okay. Now I'm going to edit this opening frame as we required. So double click on this frame. You'll get this window like this. You can see from this option, you can control the height of this opening at this location. For example, we're going to take here seven feet. Then click on modify at the bottom to update the window. You can see now this uh, distance between these two angles should be seven feet. Now coming to this number of windows, you can see this S1 indicates the number of windows. For example, uh, for example, if you record two windows at this location, so you need to enter here S1. You can see spacing pages here S1, S2. Uh, by default, we have the two feet. It indicates the spacing between center of this column to first window spacing. You can see from here to this spacing. For example, if you record two windows, so let's take here, give the space and enter eight feet is the second window spacing. then click on modify to see the result you can see now we have the second window here with the spacing eight feet means this s2 value should be eight feet from first window to second window now coming to this w1 w2 indicates the width of this opening here first window by default we have the four feet here let's take three feet then click on modify to see the result here you can see now the window width should be three feet according to this option if you want to change this second window opening then give the space and let's take second window opening is the two feet mid width then click on modify you can see now second window width is the two feet okay let's take here three feet then click on modify now we're going to change this spacing here s2 value let's take here seven feet click on modify you can see now from first window to second window spacing should be seven feet from this option now coming to this option by default we have the minus half inch in case the position you can see at here at this location you can see for example, we're going to take here zero, then select this angle and click on modify to update. You can see by default, we have the position at this location. Now we're going to move this angle left side. So let's take here minus half inch, then click on modify. For example, let's take here three by four inch. Click on modify. You can see like that you can change this position of this angle 
left or right side from this option okay now go to parts tab from this option you can control the angle profiles by default we have the L 4 by 4 by half inch for example if you want to increase or reduce the angle profile then click on here let's take here L 3 by 3 by half inch then click on apply ok now select this profile and copy and paste it here then click on modify to see the update here you can see now this angle profile should be L 3 by 3 by half inch from these options similarly you can change this angle rotation from this option you can see top frame we have this position for example if you want to rotate like this click on modify you can see now the angle position changed from this option okay like that you can control this angle profiles rotations uh, from these options at the top now coming to here now we have the option here twin profile if you want to create the twin profile at this location then we need to select here click on here and create s at the top and bottom frame and vertical post so select this angle then click on modify to see the result you can see now we have the twin profiles in the window you can see like this now select this angle then if you don't require twin profile then you need to select here no then click on modify to see the result you can see now have the single profile angle then click on modify apply ok right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse draw it now at this location you can create bolted connection or welded connection uh, between the opening frame to column for example we're going to take here welded connection so click on this window and type here in search bar weld and scroll it down and you can see now we have extension well number 85 select this component and pick the main part as a column and we need to select this option select object in component and then select this angle to create the connection between column to frame with welded like this similar we're going to apply the same connection at this location so select the main part and select the second part as this angle to create the connection welded connection like this now click on here main part and secondary part to create and here also select this column and angle to create the connection like this now close this window right click mouse interrupt click on space right click mouse redirect you can see now we have the welded connection at this location between frame opening to column like this okay that's it about how to create opening frame in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you